Hello everybody, this is Chris Nelson at Go Engineer, and in today's video we will be going over how to solve for interference in SOLIDWORKS assemblies. So right now we have these two different parts right here. We have that box which is called cube and this red cap that is called cap or part two. And right now they are intersecting. So if we turn the camera like this, you can see that the cap is going into the cube. If we change this to a wireframe view, um, it's you can totally see that we have that interference. And also if we come to the evaluate toolbar, we click interference detection. It will select the entire assembly by default. And when we click calculate, it shows that there's this interference. And because we are in wireframe view, um, it will only color the intersecting parts and it shows where interference is taking place. So there are a couple different ways we can take care of this, but we can do two different ways that I will be going over in this video. And those ways are removing the part from this cap over here, and the other is removing the interference from this cube. So let's start with the cube, and I'll change it back real quick. What we want to do is edit the part, or edit the cube in the context of the assembly. So right click on that cube, and click edit part. So now we are able to modify the part just like we're in a normal part editor, but we still have the other pieces of the assembly. And we are in this other part, so we can, so we will be creating a surface offset. So come to insert, go down to surface, and click offset. Now we want to offset these two pieces right here because that's where the interference is taking place but we want the offset to be zero millimeters. So at this point, we are essentially just copying the surface, except when we do this, this will now become part of the cube. So click the check mark, and SOLIDWORKS freaks out a little bit right here. It doesn't know exactly what to do because the two surfaces are in the exact same spot, but if we click the cube, you can see that that surface offset is now part of the cube, not the cap. So if we right click this and click open part, we now actually have the surface in the cube. So if you go to insert, cut with surface and select this solid body or select the surface body, um, make sure the arrow is pointing the right direction, click the green check mark. And now this cut has been created. Because this is a surface body, it won't affect the geometry of the part. So just right click it, hide it and forget about it. And once I move the camera, it should update and move this over and I'll change back to the shaded view. And now we have the cut in this part. So if we control tab back to the assembly, um, we get the prompt to update the model. And once we update that, that part has now been created. You can see it has that cut right there. And if we go to evaluate um, and click interference detection, when we calculate the interference, it says there are no interferences. If we come back to the surface offset and get rid of these, then we can just do the same thing once again for the cap this time. And we can do this super quickly. So go to part two, right click, edit part, insert surface, surface offset, choose the surface, zero millimeters, check that box, open the part now. There we go and go back up to insert, cut with surface, select the surface, arrows in the right direction, green check mark, hide the surface body, and control tab back to the main video, or the main assembly. And now we're back here, um, we update the part, and this time, if we click the part, you can see there's no interference from that view. I can go into hidden lines visible, and you can see there are no hidden edges because it's not interfering with it. And lastly, we can do another interference detection and there is no interferences. I hope that you can use this towards helping get rid of interference in your assembly and I hope you found this SOLIDWORKS tutorial useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills in SOLIDWORKS, enroll in one of our courses at Go Engineer.